With over 20 videos about Chrome OS in my playlist, you'd probably think that I had enough of this topic. And you are not wrong. I don't want to make any more Chrome OS videos, but I do want to quit this topic the proper way. Releasing one last video with one last fast method which covers pretty much everything. In this video you will learn probably, um, no, most certainly, the fastest way to create a Chrome OS disk image compatible with your device. And not just this, you will also learn all the things that you can do with it. As in, how to flash it on a USB, how to run Chrome OS from that USB, and eventually how to install Chrome OS on your device with only that USB. All fast, all easy, all... Right, let's get started. Okay, first thing, we need we need three things. We need the branch framework that we download from this link right here. You'll find the link in the description. And here to the right, you'll find the latest release. But before you start the download, I would suggest scrolling down and read about this project supported hardware to make sure that your hardware is compatible with Chrome OS before you started, you know, actually installing. Not that you realize after that something is wrong and then you're asking the comments like many other people why it doesn't work for me. And then we figure it out that your CPU is not compatible. Maybe you have an Intel third gen or second gen or maybe even an old Pentium or whatever. Before you actually start with anything, check here this section with CPU compatibility and unsupported hardware. And then you can go on and download the latest version. Okay, so you have to download this one, the third.gz file. It's around 800 megabytes. Okay, I will save this on desktop. Next is Chromium Dash, the second link where you have to go, chromium-appspot.com, again link in the description. And here you have to download the Chrome OS recovery image. Keep in mind that these are original Chrome OS recovery images for different types of Chromebooks. For example, if you click here on view, you, se you see that they are specially for certain types of Chromebooks and so on. And now, if you have AMD Ryzen, then you need Zork. So you need to scroll down until you find Zork and here download the latest version or whatever. And then for Intel, between 4th and 9th gen, you can download Ramos. And Voltier for Intel 10th and 11th generation. 10th and 11th generation, you can download Voltier from here. And if you have 12th gen, then you can use this one, Bria. Now keep in mind that for Voltier and Bria, you need another type of kernel. Not by default, you need to switch the kernel to 5.10. But don't worry, I do have a video about it. You can check this video out to learn how to do this, as well as other type of fixes for Chrome OS. And the last thing we need is good old Rufus with which we will flash the Chrome OS image on the USB. Oh yeah, and of course you need a USB minimum 16 gigs. Okay, if you have a 8 gigs, it's not good. I know that a lot of people ask in the comments that uh, they have only 8 gigs. You can do nothing with that. You need minimum 16. Okay, now that we are done with the download, all we have to do is create a new folder, wherever you want. I make it here on desktop. I name it Chrome OS. Okay. And I will extract the branch. Everything in this folder. Okay. And the Chrome OS image also. Okay. You can check the folder. You must have five files four from the branch plus the Chrome OS recovery image, which is a .bin file. Okay, now we need Windows Subsystem for Linux, WSL. I could assume that you already know about this and you already have this uh, activated, but in case you don't and this is your first time, all you have to do is search this, turn Windows features on and off. If you don't have it here, you just write here, turn and you go at the best match. Open and then scroll all the way down and you have to check Windows Subsystem for Linux. You check this out, click OK and now you have to restart your device. 
Okay, so now after restart, open the Chrome OS folder that you just created. And here up, where usually is the path, type in PowerShell. Just like this. And press enter. Now, type in WSL. Now, to install Ubuntu, for example, all you have to do is WSL dash dash install space dash D and then Ubuntu and wait for the installation to complete. Okay, now this is done. We have to create a username and a password. You will not see when you type the, pa the password. Don't think that this is an error. Nothing will move. Again. Okay. And now we can also make the updates to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Like sudo app update, sudo app update and end sudo app install tv dar c g d d again password and when this is done you can close ubuntu and here in powershell you try again wsl and now we are on the correct path so this was in case you didn't have wsl if you have wsl then obviously you skip all these steps now, because we have everything here in the folder, we just we need just one command to make it work. Okay, so this is the command and all you have to do. Hold up. Is go here where it says Chrome OS file dot bin and delete this. And replace it with the name of your Chrome OS recovery image. right click to paste just like this so this is how the command should look sudo bash chrome os dash install dot sh dash src the chrome os recovery image and then dash dst chrome os dot ing and press enter the password again and that's it the password and that's it now all you have to do is wait until the image is created Okay, now we've seen that this Chrome OS disk image has been created. If you want to dual boot this image with grub to win type dual boot and press enter. If you want to install this image on a USB, then just type enter. Then just type enter. Type enter. Type enter. Get that moron off of there. Now I do have a video about the dual boot method. You can check this video right here. Link is in the description. If you want dual boot, follow those steps. And if not, just press enter. And as you can see, the Chrome OS image is created at this path, which is our folder. So we can close PowerShell and open the folder. And it's right here. Previously, we had just five files. Now we have six, and this is our image. And this image, we have to flash it on a USB. So insert your USB. Okay. And here at select, choose the Chrome OS image and open and just press on start. That's it. All data on this device will be destroyed. So if you have something important, make a backup and if not, just press OK. Okay, so now Rufus is ready. We can close it. And to make sure that everything went accordingly here, if you go at this PC, you will not see your USB here, even if you still have it plugged in in your device. And all you have to do now is restart your device and boot in Chrome OS from the USB. Now, because I'm lazy and I don't want to switch recording with the phone and then screen capture from Chrome OS, but also because I have enough Chrome OS videos to refer from this point, if you want to know what you have to do from this point on, please watch this video right here from the minute 151. The link will be in the description with a timestamp and you can start directly from there. In that video, you will learn how to boot in Chrome OS from the USB, how to set up Chrome OS and resize the USB in case you have a 64 gigs or a 128 and you want to use all the space on it, all the capacity to be for Chrome OS then you have to resize it otherwise you will have just the 14 gigs image and this will mean that you'll have probably 3 gigs 
a free space if you don't resize it. Another thing that you will learn in that video is how to install Chrome OS from that USB. Because yes, you can use the same USB to install Chrome OS from it. Again, without Linux Mint, without Grubwin, without nothing. And one last thing, very important, don't forget to subscribe.